Aye. Aye, Jeanette Amanda McCarthy. Prominent so names joined and departed the City Council and the School Committee during an inauguration ceremony last weekend at Kennedy Middle School. Discharge and perform. Under a darkening cloud, former Waltham High School principal John Graceffa was sworn onto the school committee after faring very well in the November 8th election. In December, a former student and sex abuse victim filed suit against Graceffa and the city, claiming that the popular educator ignored numerous reports of abuse, leaving now deceased former teacher Robert Dacey free to sexually assault additional victims. Graceffa appeared at his first school committee meeting on Wednesday and has declined repeated requests for comment on the lawsuit. Meanwhile, Paul Brasco stepped down after two years as the city council president, although he will continue to serve as the councillor at large. City clerk Russ Malone was able to poke fun at Brasco's recent health emergency, which saw him rush to the hospital with heart attack symptoms during a council session. And I take his pulse at every meeting, so... Two young new faces joined the ranks on Sunday. School committee member Teddy Tarallo, son of longtime War II councillor Ed Tarallo, and Joe Vizard, who finally took an at-large seat after running twice unsuccessfully. Vizard earned more votes than Sally Kalura, who failed to win re-election. School committee members Stephen Rando and Jerry Walker are also out. Rando failed to earn sufficient votes and Walker stepped down. He found solace in his years of service after the recent death of his wife. When someone or something you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. God bless you all. Also on hand were State Treasurer Steve Grossman and Congressman Ed Markey. Later the same day, former Council Vice President and current Ward 6 Councilor Robert Waddick was named as the new City Council President. The new Council Vice President will be Ken Doucette. For Waltham Newswatch, I'm Chris Wangler.